On live TV, anything can happen, but not all of it is supposed to. Over the years, WWE has accidentally shown us things they did not want us to see, like revealing how Jeff Hardy actually does his stunts. In 2008, Hardy fought Umaga in a False Count Anywhere match. The two battled all over the arena and ended up outside. To end the match, Hardy knocked Umaga off the side of a WWE production truck. Then, Jeff joined him by hitting a swanton bomb. We didn't actually see the wrestlers hit the ground, and there's a good reason for that. After the action was over, the camera moved closer to get the aftermath. However, they got a bit too close, and the crash pad that Jeff and Umaga landed on could be seen just a few feet away from them. However, it might be the referee's fault. The ref raises his arm to tell the camera crew that the crash pad has been moved. There's one more crazy Jeff Hardy stunt that WWE accidentally exposed, which I'll show you soon. But first, I have to apologize for this next clip. Classic rivals The Miz and Dolph Ziggler fought each other in a beat the clock match on Raw in 2013. Both men wanted to win the match as fast as they could, but they went a bit too quick. The A-lister rolled up Ziggler, but ended up revealing too much of Dolph. Again, I apologize for that. But this isn't the only wardrobe malfunction WWE has actually shown, but you probably won't hate this next one. During a women's tag team match, Rosa Vendez teamed up with Natalia against Summer Rae and Layla. Rosa was trying to get back into the ring when Layla grabbed her and pulled a little too hard. That's an image none of those fans will ever forget. Now, what's worse than a wardrobe malfunction? Accidentally revealing that WWE isn't real. In 2012, John Cena was in a feud with Kane. The Devil's Spirit Demon had targeted Cena's friend, Zack Ryder, and Ryder's girlfriend, Eve Torres. On an episode of Raw, Kane kidnapped Eve and locked her inside an ambulance. However, during the live broadcast, the camera cut too early and we saw Kane stand by the ambulance with Eve calmly walking into position. You can even see a production member telling Kane to start closing the doors. At least Kane and Eve had a good excuse for why they weren't in character. Sasha Banks did not. The goal of wrestling is to make it look like the wrestlers are actually fighting one another. That goal was not accomplished during the 2018 Women's Royal Rumble match. Sasha Banks was fighting Lita, but instead of kicking her opponent, the boss decided to kick the air around Lita. To make it even worse, Lita reacted like the first kick actually hit her. Maybe it was the camera crew's fault for not switching to a different angle. It wouldn't be the first time they showed something they really shouldn't have. At Clash at the Castle in 2022, WWE was showing close-up shots of some of the fans. However, one fan was wearing a shirt that said, Better Dad than Chris Benoit. Chris Benoit was the WWE wrestler who murdered his wife and son and killed himself, and WWE does their best never to mention his name. It's not surprising that WWE removed this shot from all replays of the show. WWE also raised this next clip from history, but this one is actually pretty funny. The Undertaker's entrance is one of a kind, but his entrance at WrestleMania 31 was something special. Fans had seen the dead man since he was defeated by Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania 30. Finally, almost an entire year later, fans heard that unforgettable bell sound. Smoke filled the stage, and out came, uh, Dave the Tech Guy. Whoops. Now that's an example of how to get fired from WWE. This next clip illustrates how to get kicked out of a WWE show. Ryback was always saying feed me more, and one fan took it a bit too seriously. The big guy was wrestling The Miz on Raw, when all of a sudden, a fan jumped into the ring to get a piece of the action. The WWE camera crew did their best not to show the intruder, but he still managed to make it on TV. Two wrestlers also made it on TV, and they quickly realized they weren't supposed to. At the fully loaded pay-per-view in 1999, The Rock lost a shot at the WWE Championship thanks to Billy Gunn interfering. The two then faced off at SummerSlam and clearly didn't like each other. That's why it was shot I can see Rock and Gunn hanging out together backstage during the SummerSlam pre-show. As soon as The Rock saw the camera, he got out of there as quickly as possible. Something similar happened to The Rock's cousin, but the situation was much different. In 2017, Braun Strowman attacked Roman Reigns backstage. The beating was so bad that Roman had to be taken away in an ambulance. However, Braun had other plans and decided to flip the vehicle on its side. This would have been devastating if the camera hadn't caught Roman Reigns' shadow as the big dog escaped from the vehicle. That one wasn't too hard to catch, but watch this next clip and see if you notice what the trick is. No, no, no. I'll tell you whose fault it is. Roman Reigns! Did you catch it? In order for Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho to see Roman Reigns at the same time, Y2J raised his eyebrows to give KO the cue. That's pretty sneaky, but not as sneaky as this WWE referee. Just like any TV show, WWE needs to keep its shows on time. It's tricky to do when you have thousands of fans watching, so WWE has some subtle ways of communicating with the wrestlers. During the closing moments of the 2008 Royal Rumble match, it came down to Batista, Triple H, and John Cena. However, they needed to wrap up the show soon, so the referee could a hand signal to tell the guys how much time they had left, which was 10 minutes. 
That was pretty low key, but you could only miss this next trick if you weren't looking. Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt were having a physical match on Raw in 2018, and it looked like neither man would stay down for the three count. One of the reasons why was that they were secretly telling each other when to kick out. Bray had laid out Reigns and gone for the pin. However, the camera caught Roman touching Wyatt's boot to give his opponent the signal that he was kicking out. Now, maybe the cameraman was the one to blame here, but this next mistake was entirely Randy Orton's fault. During the main event of SmackDown, Randy Orton fought his old rival, Rey Mysterio. The Viper was vicious and started ripping Rey's mask in half. Orton ended up winning the match, but that wasn't enough for him. The Apex Predator put Mysterio's head in a chair and slammed him into the ring post. However, Rey's mask slipped off and his face was exposed. This was not meant to happen, and WWE's production crew quickly made sure to cover the now unmasked luchador. WWE also really should have covered Stephanie McMahon's hand in this next clip. During a segment on Raw in 2013, Stephanie was in the ring with The Big Show and Miz. WWE tried to hide it from us, but they couldn't. On Stephanie's hand, she had notes written on her palm to remind her what to say. To Stephanie's defense, wrestling talent has done this before. Even The Rock was caught with notes on his wrist when he returned in 2012. The Rock was also caught on live TV breaking character. At the final pay-per-view of 1998, Rock Bottom, The Rock and Mankind fought for the WWE Championship. Before the match, Vince McMahon was visiting Mankind in Mankind's, quote, office. A little later, McMahon said goodbye to Mankind and left. However, Mankind somehow teleported and was in the hallway and having a friendly chat with his enemy, The Rock. While that was bad, what was worse was when WWE exposed the secret of an entire match type. Despite what WWE claims, the steel ladders we see them use are not actually made out of steel. They are made out of wood and painted silver, and WWE proved it themselves at the 2009 TLC pay-per-view. During a match between Christian and Shelton Benjamin, Captain Charisma gave his opponent a frog splash through a ladder. Before Christian went through it, the camera showed exactly where the ladder had been cut in half, so that it would break when the instant classic hit. Also, after Christian landed, you could clearly see the wood the ladder was made of. This next WB secret was much easier to hide, but still ended up getting exposed. Back when he was being called the big dog, Roman Reigns had hit the ground, causing a bunch of pyro to go off. It looked pretty cool, but Reigns is still human. In order to protect the big dog's hand, WB had a cushion for him to punch. The camera crew would do their best to avoid showing this, but sometimes it slipped into the frame. Now, before I spoil that Jeff Hardy stunt, we need to watch Watch something funny. In 2009, Jack Swagger won the ECW Championship and was getting pushed as a top star. A few weeks after the big win, Swagger was walking out with the title, looking like a million bucks, when the belt fell from his waist. He just dropped his uh, championship on the floor. All right, remember when Jeff Hardy flipped Randy Orton off the Raw stage and then climbed 30 feet and delivered a swanton bomb off the Raw set? It was a breathtaking moment, but even when WWE showed the replays, we never saw Jeff actually connect with Randy. However, in the twist of fate, Hardy Boys DVD, WB showed a clip from that stunt. While it's brief, you can see from this angle that Jeff Hardy actually landed next to Randy Orton and didn't hit him at all. While it was a bad angle, at least it wasn't embarrassing, unlike what happened to Stone Cold Steve Austin at SummerSlam. To see what went down, watch the video on screen.